Today in this video, I'll be going to teach you guys how to play any classes in less than one hour. And so Warrior is actually super easy guys to learn and so I'll be going to use him as our tester today. First of all, create your character and let's get into it guys. And remember there's a trial character so make sure you guys make a trial character before you make a commitment and just test it out if you like the character or not. And so let's do that. Once we come here, just talk to this guy and make sure you guys just buy everything here and just activate everything so that way we'll be good to go to use the skills and abilities and so on. Once you guys get all the 4,000 abilities, either Awakening or Secession, we're gonna actually learn Awakening today, guys. And so make sure you guys click that on the top right and then click Awakening. And then after that here, just press Shift, left click. If you guys do that, it just maxes out everything for you guys right there. So make sure you guys do all of that right here. And for selected skills, we're not gonna touch that anything right now, but after that, go to Main and then go all the way down to Passives. Make sure they're all basically full as well there. And make sure you guys um, max out all these absolute as well. For example, main has a grab on warrior. So we want to use that for PvP in general and so on. And so this is really nice to use sometimes, guys. And so make sure you guys, you know, max out all the mains because sometimes we'll be using them as well. Now we are here in skill enhancements, and so we actually want to use something like ha that has super armor, front guard. The reason behind that is because it's really good for using um, PvP. And so for example, if you guys use Frenzy Spear, it's really nice for spearing, so that's really good for range. But it has nothing such as like super armor or front guard. And so if they, they can actually knock you down while you're using this ability, so I don't recommend you guys using those. And so instead, use something that has super armor, forward guard, and so on. So this one looks really good, so I'm going to use that. And then after that, on the third one, guys, we want to do the counter slash because he has a forward guard. Also, if you guys are on trial character or just in, in your normal character, just make sure you guys go to escape and then war and then battle arena and then pick any locations that you guys want to go. So that way you guys actually can practice the CC right here because he actually tells you if they're stunned or floated or CC'd, right? And so that's why you guys want to come here in battle arena and then test out your abilities and see if they can actually give a float or not. The other one looks really cool and all, and so if you guys want to, you guys can actually use this on PvE grinding. But then on PvP, I would recommend using on these. And so that's why it's better to understand these skills abilities more than the other ones because so that way you guys can have a muscle memory between using these super armor abilities and forward guard. After we maxed out all the abilities guys, now we want to come to skill down slot right here guys. And so when you're playing any classes guys, you guys have to make sure you guys have to put this from number 1 to number 20 for every individual skills. Trust me, and you guys will learn any classes by doing that. And so from here, if you're awakening, you actually guys want to start from the very bottom because all these bottom skills to top is going to be awakening skills. For example, like all these guys right here that you guys can see is all awakening and on the very top is succession. And so if you guys are succession uh, main, you guys want to put from the very top to number one, number two, and so on. But if you guys are awakening, you guys want to go all the way down first and then put number one and number two and so on, guys. And so this is what you guys want to do. And so make sure, yeah, just do everything here, guys. Um, Just walk through with me here and then just put everything one by one, right, guys? And so if you guys forget the number, just scroll back up and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So it seems like I'm on number nine, guys. And so we want to put this on number nine, number 10, and so on. And just fill this up and I'll see you guys once you guys put in to 20. Alrighty guys, as you guys can see, I put everything up all the way up to CD 20. And so if you guys look at all my abilities, they're all there on the screen. And if you guys don't see it, press escape, edit UI, and make sure all these CDs are activated guys. If, if their eyes are closed, that means you guys can't see it. So make sure you guys open these, right? And then just line it up around here. It doesn't have to be organized right now because we're gonna organize them right now. And so until then, just put them on the left side for now and then we're gonna reorganize it guys and so this is what you guys want to do right now and get it from there alrighty guys and so I move all the skills on the left side for now and now let's try to figure out some combos and so if you guys are awakening make sure you guys have awakening skill or weapon out right so right now I have a um, main and so I want to change it to awakening so warrior for easy tip is you guys can just press a with the shift or shift D to just change it to your warrior weapon and so for example, let's say that we have warrior, just main hands right now, right guys? All you guys have to do is shift A or shift D, right? And you can easily just pull out your awakening weapon. Once we have awakening weapon out guys, now let's test out something easy. So press W, we're just gonna keep going forward into these enemies. And then now we're just gonna click W, left click, for example. Look at that, and look at this one. As you guys notice, 
what cast did on this left side, right? It's like playing Dora Explorer at this point now, guys. And so let's try it again. W left click. So it uses this, guys. And so what I'm going to do here is pull this guy out and save it right here on this bad boy on this slot. And then let's test it out again. So W left click is that skill, guys. Okay, so what we want to do is now W R and B. Boom. And look at this, guys. It uses this ability. And so what we're going to do now is bring this and put this on the right side. Now you guys kind of see the pattern right here, guys. This is left and this is right because my mouse button is left side, right? So when we're doing W and then left click, that's that skill. And the W, R, and B, that is that skill, guys. And so that's how I can easily just find what skills I need to use just from this pattern. And so we learned this now. So let's do something else. Instead of W, what can we do? Going backwards, right? So we can press S and then click left click. And look at that, guys. It uses that ability. And so we can do this. And put this ability right here, guys. And so you guys see the pattern now. So this is forward, left, forward, right, down, left. And you guys guessed it. It's down, right. So look at that, guys. On the down, right skill, we found that right there. And so we just want to plug that in right there and then save it. And now look at this, guys. We can easily just already learn Warrior like a champion. Look at all these four skills that I just used very fast, right? So these are the stuff that you guys can do and learn really, really fast. Now... We basically learn all this for and now let's move on to the next one is pressing shift So we want to press shift and then just click left click and see what happens Ooh, look at that. It uses that ability and I want to be greedy and just find the next one right away We just shift R and B and so this one and this one guys And so what I want to do now is just pull this one out and just make a little weird line right here guys, right? So you guys can see this is W L and B R and B down L and B R and B and this is shift left click and shift right click So we, let's do that again so left, right, down, left, down, right, shift, left, click, shift, right, click. And look at that, guys. Just like that, we just learned six skills in just what? Five minutes, three minutes. And then after that, what we want to do, guys, now is pressing still shift. And then there's some going to be some skills that we can use, for, for example, like using these. Q, E's, and F's. And even shift Z's and X's, their skills, right? Which is like using the skill enhancements, right, guys? So that, let's try it. So we want to press shift and then let's just click all these buttons and see what happens. So shift Q. Look at that, guys. So that was that skill right there. And so we want to put that next on the next line right here, guys. And then save it. And then let's do like shift E. Ooh, that's the E buff, guys. And so you guys can, you know, put that right here and then put it as an E buff. Or I personally recommend on Awakening or, you know, main for these E buffs, I usually like to just put it on hockey, guys. And so, for example, for me, I would like to put them on F1s or tab or caps lock. You guys can change these hotkeys in the settings, anyways, too. And so, what I like to do is, you know, if I make that accidentally, I just lock it. And then after that, if I just press F1, then it activates the um, E buff. And so that's what I like to do, guys. And so I can actually get rid of this here now. For example, kill to school down slot. And then we want to find that one, guys. It's called Executioner. So let's find that something here. So number 20. And so we want to scroll all the way down, guys. And then put this as number 20 and replace something else. So that way we can learn, you know, other skills instead. If it's taking, you know, your cooldown 20, for example. But then Emergency K is really nice to have on your cooldown slot. But, you know, since we're learning the class, it doesn't really matter. So let's just get on and just keep learning the class. And so we learned that this is Shift Q, Shift E. Now let's try Shift F. Ooh. So that was a main, right? So if you guys notice, I was on Ma Awakening right now. But if I press Shift F, it uses the main, main skill right here, guys. So boom, just like that. So it seems like we're using some kind of a main skill, which is right here, guys. Shift F. And so even though we have Awakening skill out, right, or weapon out, we can easily just change it to main hand. So this is a trick for you guys that if you guys want to ch change it to your main hand, you got, all you guys can do from Awakening is Shift F. And then it just changes to main, right? Or another way is, you know, if you have Awakening and if you guys press E, which is grab, you also change this back to, you know, main hand after that. And so you guys have to do, you know, if you guys want to do the Awakening combo, you guys have to do the Shift A or Shift D, right? And should change it to Awakening and then do your combos, right guys? And so look at all these combos that we can easily just do just by remembering this with this easy pattern that we just taught you. And so yeah, that was Shift F, guys. And so let's try Shift Z. So this one usually, guys, is um, main weapon. And so if you guys use these abilities, it's going to turn into your main weapon. So we have Awakening right now, for example. So Shift Z. Boom. And then it changes to main, right? Same thing with this. Shift X. And then it changes to main, guys. And then same thing with number three. So this one, you always have to put it in a hotkey usually. And so you have to put that on number three, for example. That's what I like to do. And then just press number three. 
And if it does, it activates it, and then it just changes back to main. So we just learned that from Warrior that we can use this, this, this to change it to Awakening to main, or using the Shift F, right guys? And so that's how we can figure out and skills and grabs, right? Don't forget that as well. And that's how we can figure out, you know, what Warrior is all about for, you know, changing Awakening to main or main to Awakening, for example. All right, so let's go from there. And so let's try, you know, Shift Z again and then see what happens. So that was Shift Z. Shift X, okay? So we want to put those two skills right above number one and number two. That's what I like to do, guys, personally, and then save that. And so it's right there, guys. And so, you know, once again, Shift Z, right? And then right next to Z is X, and so that's what I like to do there. And then number three here, guys. Boom. So we just learned, you know, three abilities, right? So you guys see how this is duplicated as number three and this. And so we don't need this on skill cooldown anymore, right, guys? Because we can't use the ability without it. So now what we can do is just find that, right? It's called counter slash, which is number one. And so we want to just get rid of number one and put it on someone else, right, guys? And so boom, just like that. Now we have different skill that we can learn and figure it out. All right, so we're getting almost there, guys. We still need to figure out what this skill is about. And so what we want to do next is finding Awakening and then go look at something with Flow. So what Flow means is that if you guys use this ability and then if it has a line usually, you guys can use some kind of skill together. So for example, WLMB, right, for this one that we learned. And then if you guys just press Spacebar, you guys can use a skill. For example, let's try it. So W left click and then Spacebar. One and two. That was my BSR, so we need to try it again. Boom, just like that, guys. And then uses this ability, right? And so what we want to do now is move this on the very top like this, guys. And so that way we remember our combos. Remember, guys? And so using this, WLMB. And then if you guys just remember this is a space bar, it goes like this, right? And so I'll teach you guys something really cool too in a minute. Now if you look at other skills, for example, guys, look at this one. Down LMB. And what we need to do is just hold LMB after that. And so it looks like we're going to use this one. So down LMB, which is this one right here, guys. And then just hold LMB. And look at that. It uses two abilities just like that, guys. And so what we like to do there now is, you know, just put it like that, right? And so, guys, we just learned two flows, which is WLMB with spacebar. And down LMB and hold LMB. And so let's move on to the next one. And then usually the ones that you guys have left over is just reading them and see what they are basically. And so look at this one guys, armor break. And it seems like we can use it on a space bar. And so what we can do is now remember this combo, which is WLMB space bar. We can hold space bar and see what happens on the third one. One and three. So it uses that ability guys. And so what we can do now is edit UI right here guys. And just put it like that. And so that can be a really, really nice combo, right guys? And so you're using WLMB and then hold spacebar and uses all those three abilities just like that, guys. And so that's another really easy way to learn like a triple combo. And then after that, let's just hover, you know, flow, reckless, blow. Oh, okay. So it seems like we can just press LMB and RMB, guys, to activate it, right? And so what we want to do for that one is, you know, just go to edit UI and just put it right between like here, guys, maybe. And so if you guys can't put it because of this guy is in the way, what I usually like to do is just put this one first and then put this one next, like this, guys. And so that's what I like to do if you guys get stuck like that. And then now look, WLMB, WRMB, double mouse button, down LMB with the combo that we remember, right? Down RMB, shift left click, shift right click, and, you know, shift Q and then shift E and shift F, right? And stuff like that. So we just learned about, you know, worry about this fast in like less than five minutes, guys. After that, with all these ones that we have left, let's just line it up and see what we exactly need to know or, you know, figure it out. And so these are the skills that we need to still figure out. So let's go find that. So first, let's do the purple one, which is looking knee kick. And so it seems like we just have to press F to use that, guys. So let's just do that. So F, just kicking, right? And it seems like it gives a stiff guys and so it's really nice to use and then let's try like something with down f and see what happens Ooh, uses that ability right guys and it also has a bound and so that's really good skill so what we can do now is f and down f so we want to use that together guys and so you know f for example and then down f right guys and so when we press f that's f and then you know it's on the bottom and so that's why it's down f right guys and then let's try wf and see what happens Ooh, seems like it uses a uh, main hand and it seems like we can dash and so it can be very useful to use for you know be engaging on enemies and so it seems like we need to figure out what sk this skill is about and so you know i actually have a hotkey for skill cooldown right here guys and so you know even though it's not in here guys if i still activate the skill it still tells me what it is and so let's go find out what that skill is about guys and so it's in the main 
It seems like that symbol looks like something like here, I think. Found it, and it's right here, guys. It's called Charging Thrust. So we actually want to put that in cooldown because that looks really, really good when we are using it. And so let's find the skills that maybe we don't need to put on a hotkey, for example. Let's do like Burning Moxie, right? Shift spacebar, it gives you recovery, right? And so that one's not too hard to remember, and so I think I'm just going to get rid of that myself. And then 18, so we want to replace 18 into Charging, guys. So now what we want to do is now, if you press WF, now we have a hotkey right here, guys, activated. And so now we want to put that in the very top right here, guys. And so now we have WF and F and down F, but remember, these guys are awakening, guys. And so whenever we use WF, which is main hand, we pull out our main hand. And so if you press F, it's just going to use the main hands, guys. And so if you guys go back to your mains and go to secondary, like they have also kicks right here, guys. And so, you know, you guys can maybe get confused and so don't get confused by that which because it can you know duplicate of main and awakening and so technically right now you're only using main and so you need to change it to awakening first and then press f and then down f right guys to use your awakening since you guys are awakening main not the succession main all right so we just have about three more left guys and so what we want to find out is um figure out what that is and so head chase seems like the dash right guys and so if whenever we use a dash we get an iframe but we can actually spam it, but then, you know, if you keep spamming it, as you guys can see, we don't get the iframe all the time. And so it's only good for only once on the very first casting. And so you guys actually want to use that very carefully on PvP because if you guys use it on the very beginning, it has an iframe. So when we, what we want to do usually is going forward and then, you know, dash it and then use something ability so that way you guys can always be like in a safeguard as using like super armor, forward guard, and iframe and so on. And so since that's movement, I like to put movements like right on top of my character or below my character. So that way I know when to engage and so on and when they are activated. So just like this guys and then use the abilities, right? And just start remembering your abilities, which one has forward guard, which one has, you know, super armor, iframes and so on. So that way you guys can master in PvP later in future. But for now, we're just learning a character, so just spam all these abilities, right guys? And just study what they are, and so that way you guys can figure out every class that you guys want to learn. And yeah, this should help you with my advice. After that, two more, let's go find what this one is about. So it's called Chain Heaven's Cleave. So all we have to do is press RMB after Solar Flare, Overwhelm, you know, Flow, all these skills, guys, for example. But what I like to do, for example, for this scenario is using the WRMB and then just holding RMB, guys. And so let's see what happens if you guys do that. So WRMB and then hold RMB and look what happens when I use RMB after WRMB. It uses that ability, guys. So WRMB, RMB. And so just like that, guys, I like to do for that one is just put it right next to this. And so that way, now I know exactly what combo I need to use, right, guys? And so this one is WLMB with space bars. This one is RMB and hold RMB. This one is down LMB and hold LMB and so on, guys. Now, this is a very fun part about Awakening, guys. The thing about main succession, people, is you're stuck with this skill no matter what. But Awakening can be very, very cool because Solar Fur, for example, doesn't have anything of super armor. But if you would like to use this ability and you want something with super armor, with PvP-wise, now look at this guys, we can use Solar Flare on this one and actually activate it now whenever we use this ability, it has super armor. Or let's say that you like Balance Strike, but then it has uh, nothing right on this skill of anything safe. And so you guys can use Balance Strike and get a forward guard. And so that can be really, really good for engagement, right? And being aggressive. Same thing with Frenzy Strikes, let's say that you like this ability, but then you know, Frenzy Strike doesn't have any front guard or super armor. So this can cover it up guys. And so these are the really fun part about Awakening, guys, is selected skills. You can literally change metas, your combos, your abilities, and play differently, right, guys? And so if you want to be more defensive, right, you guys can, like, play super armor, forward guard, and so on. But if you want to be more aggressive, you guys can get, like, bounds, right, or knockdowns, and so on. And so lastly, seems like we used all the ability, guys. And so you guys just need to double check if I actually use this ability or not, and just hover it and see what happens. For example, like, great sword defense, guys, that's Q. So if you press Q, we're defending. Also, we get a forward guard and super armor, guys. And so no one can stop us until they actually grab us, right? And so this is really, really good for defending, guys. So you just press Q and just do nothing until, you know, somebody reacts to something. And then just go from there. 
And then Burning Moxie, if you guys remember, you recover 500 WP. And then also give you guys movement speed for 10 seconds. So that's really good to use. And there's this ability, guys, called Elvia. And so you guys can only use this skill um, in Serendia location. So if you guys press M. And once you guys have like about 260 to 280 AP, you guys can grind in Oryx or, you know, Swap Nagas, Bloody. You know, all these regions in Serendia locations. And then if you guys get the Spirit buff, you guys can actually use this ability. And so what you guys need to do though is put it on a hotkey so that way when you you guys get the spirit buff you guys can just press that button to activate the ability and look it can be very good too look, all dp minus 20 all ap minus 20 recovery 20 you know and so it can be really really good for you know pve grinding guys and so i highly recommend you guys using these in serendia once you guys get there and that's pretty much is a wrap up and if you guys also want to be more good in pvp you guys need to understand changing your awakening to main and main to awakening guys and so figure out those abilities right just pressing a lot of buttons and figuring things out for example warrior was you know just easily just changing from you know main to awakening is just a and shift right guys and so doing that dashing side by side just changes to awakening which is super convenient and then if you guys want to master more with um main hand stuff too you guys can come down easily on secondary skill on main and then just read what they have here and so i think one of this ability right here war cry right guys is you know on main and so look at this one guys it says can be added in a quick slot and so that's the only way to use it but if you use it um it gives all dp plus 20 and all allies too so it can be really good for node war guys and stuff to give an um your teammates a buff so whenever you know we use number one right and he has to be a main and then once we have a main out and then press number one, it gives us that buff, guys, for 20 seconds. And so that's really good for, uh, you know, before you guys are fighting, just use that ability and so on. So as you guys can see on my PvE tier list, that's why I gave you guys um, my opinion for Awakening Warrior was only 2 out of 5 for difficulty. It's because just like I taught you guys in this video, it was super easy to understand and figure out the abilities. And so WLMB, spacebar, right, just like that, down LMB and hold LMB. And so all you guys need to do now is just practice which one has forward guard, right? And super armor and so on. So that way you guys can master in PvP. And then after that, just figuring out some combos that you guys can also figure out, you know, during your practices. And yeah, I had lots of fun um, playing Warrior while I was testing him out. And so I highly recommend you guys um, playing Warrior if you guys are new to this game. And that's a wrap up for this video. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you do, please subscribe. And if you want more videos like this, so you guys don't miss it out in future. Ciao for now and I'll see you guys next time.